Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakford Farm. Today what we're going to do is we're going to finish planting field number 13 with the maize. And I actually did get a bit concerned about this in yesterday's video, well after yesterday's video. Uh, because I read the comment section, as I tend to do, and the uh, most commented or most liked comments were regarding uh, that the crop was going to die because it isn't the right temperature. The germination temperature for the maize is actually 10 degrees Celsius and it is only 3, the ground temperature. So I always took it as uh, that as being the germination temperature. Anyway, I've now got to the bottom of this because what I did is I duplicated this save game and then passed a few days to see if this crop would die, do nothing or grow. And thankfully, it actually grew very well and very quickly. So I have nothing at all to be concerned about. Um, uh, but yeah, thank you to everybody who did point it out, because there was a possibility it would die, but just so you know, it is going to grow very well. Which I am very pleased to hear and to see, because <laughs> if I planted the entire field and then the whole thing withers, it would be a disaster. But no, it, it has grown. It, it, it does grow, I should say. Anyway, the, uh, the worker over here is busy. There is a slight problem. The front packer, when it turns, obviously does cultivate the headland again. Uh, it doesn't cultivate it all though, so it's not a big problem, it's just, yeah, the, the headland, the use of the headland here is simply as a marker for the worker. Now what we're going to do is, first of all today, we're going to go over to the store, because we need to go and pick up quite a few uh, pallets of seed. The uh, planter here gets through the seed very quickly, so I need to be able to replenish the supply in the field without taking it back to the farm every time. Fertiliser isn't as much of a problem, so fertiliser will be done in the farm and obviously whenever we refill it with fertiliser, we'll fill it up with seed too. But yeah, as the seed goes down so fast, we must do it in the field. So that is what the trailer is for, we're off to the store. Uh, the store is quite a long way from here, but yeah, let's just uh, begin the journey. This field here is growing, very nice indeed. This was shown in a previous video when I was doing this fertiliser spreading. Now the previous episode was about an hour before this episode in game time, so it's the same day, which means that the pigs, sheep and cows, all their stuff, their feed and water is still very good, which I can show you just there. As soon as it becomes warmer and the grass grows, we can give the cows some grass and then every bar will be filled. Uh, providing I keep up to date with it. I keep uh, on top of it, I should say. So here we go. This is the dealer. I'm going to buy some seed. This is quite expensive. I don't want to go over the top with it. Uh, going over the top with it would be foolish, just because it is uh, a lot of money, really, per bag. Almost a thousand pounds per bag. But, depending on the crop type, uh, it can go a long way. I hate to mention another thing which would be good in uh, FS19, um, but yeah, I think different seed bags for different crops, because for example, oilseed rape, uh, the amount of seed you put per acre or hectare is obviously dramatically less than if it was, for example, wheat. At the moment we just use the exact same amount of seed per crop uh, in the same bag. In fact, what does it say on this bag? Yeah, just a generic plant or, yeah, just some kind of uh, growing thing. Yes, <laughs> if it was different for every uh, crop type, it would be probably a bit more complicated for some people. Again, it's, it's a thing where you'd like to have an option for it. So you could maybe have an option which um, turns off, you could have like a realistic mode. So it makes a lot of uh, different things more realistic or more advanced. And then you could have a basic mode. So you can swap between the two. For example, in multiplayer, you probably wouldn't want to be in the really uh, realistic, more complicated version. Uh, but in single player, you probably would. But I don't know. I, I obviously don't make the game, so <laughs> I can't say. But the idea, I know, has been mentioned before. Not by giants or anybody, just in the community here, on the comment section. And I think it is a good idea. It's just, would it work? That's the question. I think that's what giants do before they do anything at all. 
they research it, and if it won't work, I guess they won't do it. So it has to work. Right, the final pallet here. Oh, my tyre tracks disappeared. How fun. Put this one on the front, and we'll strap it all on, and off we go. Back over to the field. The drill I would have thought would have finished, although it might still be going. It does get through the seed very quickly. Surprisingly quickly, actually. Right, there we go. Uh, just hitch back onto it. There we go. Come on. Did I drop something off there? No? There we go. That's better. And we'll strap these on. They're obviously not very well stacked, but if they're strapped, they shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, I'm going to have to reverse back. The uh, turning circle isn't the best, but it doesn't have a very long drawbar. And it's the same for most of these trailers, if not all of them. And you just can't turn very tight. So, off we go. I seem to have uh, fast tyre track disappearing mode on or something, if there is a mode for it. There we go. The worker is finished unexpectedly, because the tank is empty. Alright, okay, so yeah. We'll go back up there and uh, get things going. We'll resume the operation of planting the corn, or the maize, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's going to be silage to us once it's cut. Okay, we're back. Sorry, wrong mode enabled there. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that switched off. Anyway, yes, here we are. Back at the field. Let's get the drill filled up. And then we can uh, resume the drilling, as I said. So, I might have to drive... Uh, well, I don't want to drive in the field, actually. Unless I go further down. I could do. Either way, we're going to have to cut across it, whether it's with or without the trailer. So, I'll put it over here. Uh, it looks like the drill is quite a long way away. We don't have to unstrap it every time, but I'm going to. Just because I want to lift it up with the front loader, each pallet, and put it into the uh, hopper. Instead of just pressing R while being parked next to it. It's just, it's just too easy. It's just way too simple. So I'm going to do it this way. Right, looks like I had a bit of an issue turning around here. Obviously anything which is messed up at the end I have to just do manually. So we'll drop that off there. Take the first one off. It can be this one here. We get it filled up. Let's see if I can get it aligned properly this time. No. Almost. <laughs> Push the trailer. Right. I'm gonna have to open the hopper up. I doubt it will open automatically. Yeah, it's just sort of sitting on the edge of the uh, tines there. There we go. That could be for fertiliser, but oh well. We'll put it in here anyway. There we go. And it's only taken just over half. So, yeah, I think four, four uh, pallets should be enough. You would hope. Cover it over and set it on its way. Goodbye, worker. Now we can just go up here. Uh, it, you, maybe I should just, yeah, I'll take over. It's going to get very confused here.
Right, well done. Obviously it's now uh, trying to find this new track. For some reason it's now going to a totally different angle than it was before. Um, but as long as he gets it done, I don't have a problem with it. It's uh, a very strange angle to take though. Oh well. So, I'll move over here, out of the way. It's definitely going to be required again very soon. Oh, there goes the next pallet. Let's pick it up. We'll use it. Um, but yes, I can't just be sitting around here waiting for it to empty. So we'll do a bit of spraying in the meantime. Uh, actually, I've had a lot of uh, comments about uh, slurry spreading. We're going to do some. Obviously, we don't have the money yet for a slurry spreader. Um, I don't think I have one. So we'll have to wait. But we don't have that much slurry anyway. I mean, we've, we've probably got about 40,000 litres. But as soon as you start using it, it gets through it so quickly. Yeah, that's going to be uh, very awkward. It's going to really mess up when it comes to turning around. So, a little bit later, we are here in the class tractor. We have quite a bit of fertiliser. What we're going to do is go up through the cow field uh, into the grass fields up here. I'm going to try and get some of the grass fields done again for a second application. If they're ready, of course. They might not necessarily be ready. Uh, the grass fields might work slightly differently to the arable fields, but I'm sure with every growth stage you can actually have another application so as it's been two days since the first one I think I think we'll be ready for the second one let's just see oh it's, it's actually still looking a bit dark so maybe it isn't ready that's interesting well I can give it a go just a very small section failing that I'll go over to film the uh, what would it be 34 which is quite a long way from here but it does need to be done Right, let's just try it. Very, very quick section. Good. And then we'll check. I should think it isn't working. No. In fact, it already has a second... Oh, yeah, that is the second or third application. It must have already been fertilised from the previous year. It is just fill 34, uh, which is going to need to be done again, and fill 13. So actually, there is uh, not really much I can do. Not much at all. Yes. This has turned out to be easier than expected. Well, I guess all we can do is go back over to the uh, silage field. Sorry, the maize field. Field number 13. And see if it needs to be refilled again. It's been a little while. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Um, but at least it's worth checking. It's better to check and just, you know, uh, find out it doesn't need doing than it is to neglect it completely. I wonder how they're doing for water. Let's just see. Uh, it's about half full. Although, it's actually three quarters full here. Anyway, yeah, we'll go back over to the field. We will take the Defender. I'll have to drop the trailer off. Um, but it can stay here anyway, because I think this trailer's main use is going to be firewood and also for basically just carting the wool about. Uh, it's going to be a while until we cart more wool. It's, in fact, it's going to be another year. It'll be next spring. Um, or b before, if we finish the series earlier, if we don't go through to another spring. Um, if we do go through to another spring, it means we'll be doing this series for at least three years. Which is impressive. I'll leave the gate open. In fact, that gate can stay open all the time. There's no reason to shut it at all just race back up through here and we will see how it's doing I should think it is very close to empty I do want to get it done today though because otherwise it's going to be uh, going on for two episodes at least it is a big field but really there's no excuses to uh, not finish it today so I will get it done. Uh, let's just park over here somewhere. Although I could drive down to the tractor. Yep, let's just race over here. Well, it's still going strong, but obviously it's not covering much ground in one pass. It must be so close to empty. Right. 
I don't know why it was smoking from the exhaust. The engine is off. Oh well. Right, I'll try and fill this up now. I should think it is so close. Fertilizer is obviously still very good. Um, but the seed, no, that must be so empty. You see, this is what's funny. The workers can be so good. Um, and other times they can be absolutely shocking. Like, they can't even navigate a tree. Whoop, that, that, was, that was seriously weird. Whoa, whoa, it's gone very laggy. Oh no, don't crash. Do not crash. Well, I have absolutely no idea at all what happened then. But it's it's absolutely fine now. It didn't crash, it just went all, uh, yeah, really laggy. I think I got about two frames per second or something. Um, anyway, yeah, that is all fine. Everything's fixed. I'll move stuff out of the way. It is actually a very awkward feel to do with a worker. I should do it myself. I have decided that that is definitely the best idea. So, here goes. Let's finish the field. It's a good job I have a very good supply of seed here. Otherwise, we will be going back to the yard very often. In fact, actually, looking at this, we're only 40%, 47% uh, full of fertilizer. So, there is a possibility that we're going to do the entire field on one and maybe one and a half loads of fertilizer but probably about five or six loads of seed. Interesting. Um, yeah, it needs a bigger seed hopper, clearly. Anyway, we must continue. So that is the end of the field, just uh, tidying up here. Now, just because of the method that we've used here, using the front packer as the cultivator, uh, it does it leaves all these little dots of uh, stubble, uh, which is unavoidable, really, unless I was to waste a load of seed by recultivating the field. So it's just one of those things we're going to have to live with, I'm afraid. But when the field starts to grow, uh, you won't even see it, so it doesn't really matter at all. And here we go, concluding the drilling or the planting. We're done. Fantastic. So, yeah, sorry it hasn't been a very productive... Well, it has been a productive episode. It hasn't been a very exciting episode, I should say. Um, so, yeah. Although it's uh, although it's done, there will still be other jobs that have to be done here, like fertilising and, uh, well, obviously the harvest, which is going to be very exciting. But tomorrow is going to be the 4th, which I think is going to be the first day of mid-spring. Uh, which means we should be able to do the first cut of grass. So, I don't know if Chainsaw 100 is going to be in tomorrow or not. I don't think he is. Um, but if he's not, then it will hopefully be the day after. So, we'll do a bit of uh, co-op work and it should go pretty well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.